there's a recent teaching that you did that is the latest controversy of Dr. Abel Damina in the social media space. Let's bring on that, the, that particular video and then we'll delve right into it. Recently, we we're talking about uh, music within the church. Okay. And that, that's the latest controversy by Dr. Abel Damina. In, in in yeah. <laughs> so please, if we have that particular video, let's bring it on and then we'll dig you know, some more into it. The context of divergence. Why are we all preaching different things? Um, the Bible says that we should communicate one with another, you know, through hymns, songs of the Spirit, and all of that. Now, the concept of chants are embedded in singing to ourselves in songs and sounds of the Spirit. But let's listen to what you said, and then we'll give it context. Okay, nice. I hear the latest thing that music ministers are doing now is what they call chanting. Hey, yeah. Chanting. Hey, yeah. Chanting. What is chanting? Repeating one or two lines for over one hour. And they call it spirit. Spiritism coming through the back door. Voodoo coming through the back door. And set, uh, 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 astral projection coming through the back door. In the name of music, we have to start fixing some things right in this area so that people are not swayed. Every song, every teaching, every message is only inspired to the degree to which it draws its inspiration from the inspired word of God. I don't care who the songwriter is. If what he wrote does not agree with the word of God and it is in public space, we will, we will attack it. We will attack it and scrutinize it. Like the song, they just said I scrutinize and people are shouting. Channels of my spirit open up. What channels? Even in the Old Testament, there's no scripture that says you have channels. Are you a monster? Channels of my spirit. Are you a monster? Some say Dr. Damina does not understand English. Channel means transportation system. What are you transporting? Dangote crude oil or what? What are you transporting? When people are protecting childhood fantasies, it keeps showing how stupid they are. There's no scripture that says you have channels in your spirit. There's no such scripture. Don't let sentiments and emotionalism mess you up. When it comes to Bible teaching, we are not emotional. We are not sentimental. We look at the text of scripture. There's nothing like channels for your spirit in the Bible. And there's nothing like chanting. Bible says, let the word of God dwell in you richly. Where you now begin to teach and admonish in psalms, hymns, spiritual songs. If that chanting is of the spirit, it will have interpretation. But it does have interpretation because it's not tongues. It's not tongues. Tongues are not chanting. Tongues are not chanting. It's not of God. Just trash it. Stay with what is safe. I'm teaching here. Stay with what is safe. Singing is actually teaching. It's supposed to be to teach and bring back to your remembrance the realities of Christ from scripture to refresh your mind. Am I communicating at all? Because singing is sustained talking. Sustained talking. What are you talking? You are talking what the scriptures teach. Paul said, even if, if it is I or an angel from heaven preach anything other than what is already written, let him be accursed. Accursed means anathema. Are you saying that in holistically there is nothing as a chant or there is something you would rather bring light on? as chant because what then is the concept of singing in the spirit okay so um the context in which i was dealing with this because it's a whole teaching and mm -hmm. the context is simply this i grew up in assemblies of god and back in the days i was in the choir we used to chant what was chanting for us was the leader will say a word you will repeat he will say a word you will repeat okay. he will say a word you will repeat but these are words that have meanings okay okay like jesus jesus is coming is coming you know we chanted like that and even today there are churches that chant like that that chant is okay the chant i'm dealing with here is a chant that has no meaning meaningless chants that are stretched over a period of time just like it is done in voodoo or done in um, uh, in, in spiritism where it just 
expose your soul to a lot of stuff. Okay, that's what I'm dealing with here. And then also we have to understand that chanting is not the gift of the spirit. And it's not Holy Spirit. Because worship in spirit is worship in tongues. And yeah. tongues have meaning. That's what the Bible says. Let him that speak in tongues pray that he may interpret. Because they have meaning. And tongues are not chants. Tongues are things we speak. We speak in psalms, hymns, spiritual. Spiritual there is pneumaticus. It means we speak in things of the spirit. And things of the spirit have meaning. But those chants have no meaning. That's where the issue is. And once you begin to communicate to brethren in things that have no meaning, they are not edified. And the Bible says everything has to be done to the use of edification. It has to edify. And if it's not edifying, it's, it's something else. It's no more ministry. Mm. So w when we are talking about um, channels of my spirits, we, there is the, the, the context of um, organs of interaction with the spirit. My eyes, my ears, my mouth, and all of that. So it might be the choice of the word channel, but sometimes what if these ministers are referring to organs of interaction with the spirit? Well, the Bible doesn't teach that. See, again, when it comes to Bible teaching, you stay with the Bible. We don't read our thoughts. We don't read our nuances. We don't read our ideas into the scriptures. That's in CGSs. We do ex -CGSs. And because worship or uh, singing, because again, singing is just a minute part of worship. I hope you know. Worship is not a song. Worship is our view of God in Christ which will translate into the fact that if we're now going to sing as part of our worship of God in Christ, it has to be meaningful as it exalts the finished work of Christ. Mm -hmm. So the Bible didn't teach that you have channels. In fact, somebody quoted this form. Somebody sent me a mail after watching this. He said, Dr. Damira, it's like you don't know your Bible very well. The Bible says, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water in John chapter 7. But the Bible says, this speak ye of the spirit that they will receive. And if there's going to be rivers of living water, it's not coming from the believer, it's coming from Jesus. Because Jesus is the baptizer. We receive. He releases the spirit to us. And then also the rivers there is symbolic of the spirit. And it is coming from Jesus, not from the believer. So again, there's no teaching in the Bible, you know, that says you have channels. There's none at all. And there's no point trying to force it into the scriptures. It's not there. Your spirit and God's spirit is one. And there's nothing flowing out of you to anywhere. All right. Great conversation we've been having this morning with Dr.